Hello guys and welcome to the School of Candlestick Patterns. This series you're gonna learn about everything on, about the candlesticks and uh, how to read them, how to uh, take advantage of uh, the candlestick patterns in the charts and how to use them in confluence with the structure because that is the most important thing about the candlesticks pattern that you have to put them in the confluence of the structure of the chart if you're gonna get the best out of them so uh, i hope you like this series guys i'm gonna roll the uh, intro and the disclaimer and uh, we will get started please uh, hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to the channel do it right now you have the time for that <laughs> So, how to read a candlestick? Well, a candlestick, guys, uh, have uh, many uh, components, and uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, all of them in uh, this series. Uh, what we look at here is uh, two different candles. One is a bullish candle, is and this is uh, the blue one, and uh, one is a bearish uh, candle. Uh, the main thing about uh, the bodies, the highs and the low and the wicks uh, for a candle is uh, when price in this case opens here and uh, trade higher then um, price uh, went back down and start traded below the openings price which makes uh, the body of the candles traded all the way down to this low and then closed a little bit higher which make us uh, which uh, sorry give us the real body of the candle is the opening and the close this is the body uh, the wicks this upper wicks and this uh, lower lower wicks here are uh, mainly what show us uh, where price was uh, during this session and um, they also called the uh, shadows but a uh, lot of people uh, call them wicks yeah uh, the most important thing about these uh, two different candles is uh, to look at the size of the body and in relationship to the candles before so it's very important to look when you look at the charts uh, and see a big candle uh, it's gonna show you that um, uh, how strong uh, the bears or the bulls are uh, depending on um, the size of the candles before and we're gonna talk about that later on uh, when i show you how it uh, looks like in the chart and how you can read it to see uh, what is the sentiment of the traders in uh, any given market yeah so once again uh, let's uh, repeat that and now on the bullish candle as you see the opening price uh, was here uh, price uh, did trade lower under this session and uh, then uh, traded all the way up to the high and then went down a little bit and closed at this level which give you the body and leave uh, leave us with those uh, two weeks which shows you that price was testing those areas under the session but couldn't close at this highs or at this low it did close up here and that's why the candle is blue and the, um, in during this session when the price was was trading uh, at these lows this candle was of course this area here was of course red uh, but then when price goes above the opening price 
and the candles color uh, changed to blue that shows you that this is uh, a bullish uh, candle and the opposite is about the bearish candle yeah so those are the most usual candles uh, you're gonna see in the chart and uh, there is a uh, lots of candles variation that we're gonna uh, look at uh, in the next slide and those variation <coughs> some of them are the most important are those um, we have in the in this slide uh, we start with uh, the dojis uh, all 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 those called doji um, this is uh, called uh, butterfly doji this is a star doji this is a gravestone doji and this also I want to show you this one because um, uh, many people call this a hammer or a spinning top but uh, the body still very small the open and the close was very very near each other and this one is still called a doji it actually don't really matter exactly what you call them uh, the most important thing how to read them and how to understand uh, what happens uh, with price uh, when they appears in the chart because every candle uh, gonna tell you um, a story about uh, what's happened during this session yeah the next candle um, is the spinning top and uh, uh, it's uh, called like that because it looks like a spinning top and um, <coughs> Uh, the wicks uh, for the spinning stop are almost equal um, they may vary a little bit but uh, they are almost equal to each other as you see uh, the wicks here and uh, they have uh, usually have uh, a very small body and um, they show you that uh, depends on when you see in, in this chart but um, they can show you maybe uh, indecision in the in the market when they appear yeah they are not as strong as uh, the candles uh, we looked at uh, before or as the marubuzu which we're gonna talk about too uh, then uh, we have uh, the hammer uh, also call it umbrella line because it looks like an umbrella and uh, also called pin bar but uh, most of the time it's uh, referred to as hammer uh, a hammer uh, uh, have a small body and uh, the real body is small and um, is at the upper end of the trading range the color of the real body is not uh, very important uh, it has uh, a long lower shadow that should be at least twice uh, the haze of the real body yeah uh, so um, anytime you you uh, you have to measure a hammer if it is a hammer or not for me that's mean that's uh, possibly it's not a hammer yeah because uh, you when you look at it you have to uh, see it directly that the uh, lower shadow or the wick is uh, at least twice uh, the size of the real body um, and it should uh, have uh, no or a very very short uh, upper uh, shadow as you see in this one uh, there is a shaved hammer also called shaved hammer because it don't have uh, any wicks at all at the top uh, but um, the most usual one you can you're gonna see looks like this with a minimal wick to the upside okay and uh, the next one is uh, the inverted um, hammer it's usually the opposite of uh, the usual hammer and um, it have uh, the same uh, the, uh, the same um, rules as uh, the hammer but uh, they are inverted uh, the wick uh, have to be uh, twice the size of the real body and the wick uh, is uh, from the upside yeah and uh, usually it have a minimal wicks uh, to the downside or even better if it don't have any wicks at all to the downside
one side. That is the inverted hammer. And then we have um, the Maribuzo. This is uh, the most uh, strong uh, sentiment candle, depends on if it is a bullish one, uh, which means the color maybe is uh, red or is it's a uh, sorry, <laughs> what I want to say if it is a bearish one and the color is red or it's a bullish one where the color is uh, blue. Um, or green uh, depends on uh, which uh, color you are using for your charts yeah the marabuzo uh, it's a candle when it uh, from the opening to the close uh, you don't have any wicks at all on the both sides yeah and uh, that's a very strong signal in this case that uh, uh, the bears were in control of the market from the opening to the close without even testing to trade uh, higher than the opening the price kept pushing down all the way until the close of the session yeah that's a very strong uh, bearish uh, signal in this case yeah so uh, those are uh, the most uh, common candles um, you're gonna ch uh, see in uh, in the charts and of course uh, there is a bit more variation of uh, all of them and uh, we're gonna be talking about that in the upcoming uh, series of uh, this uh, candlestick school yeah um, so let me show you a little bit how it looks like in this chart and uh, how to read some of the sentiment of uh, the candles when you see it uh, if you look at this uh, chart uh, starting from the left uh, you see there we had uh, a little bit uh, of a um, uh, trend to the upside at the start here and um, what we can look at uh, at first is this uh, bullish candle here and that was uh, almost the same one as I showed you in uh, in the so in the start of uh, this tutorial uh, it's a um, strong bullish candle and uh, the reason we can say it's strong is by looking at uh, the past candles before it as you see those bodies are, was a little bit uh, smaller than uh, this candle this candle is almost twice the size of uh, these candles here and even uh, this one uh, that's uh, tell you that this sentiment is still uh, to the upside then you got another uh, bullish candle here with um, almost equal wicks on both sides and another uh, reason to uh, if you are in a trade to hold that trade the second uh, candle here is a bearish candle and it's a stronger candle than the one before by looking at the size of the body and it did engulf uh, the candle before and uh, that's uh, give you a signal that the bears are uh, getting in the market right now that don't mean that you have a reverse a reversal or you're gonna have a reversal yet but that gonna give you a warning that there is uh, bears uh, getting in the market and uh, we're gonna talk also about the engulfing pattern um, in this series la later on um, by looking at these uh, three candles here you see that the body size uh, we have uh, this spinning top and another uh, bullish candle and another uh, maybe a doji uh, up here uh, you see that all those uh, three bodies are very small um, if you refer to the candle before them which show you that we have now a very weak uh, bullish uh, trend and that can give you an even stronger signal that maybe it's time to uh, get out of the, uh, the trade if you are long and the candle you got after that uh, it's uh, a clear uh, signal that the reversal is here and as you see price went down all the way uh, and uh, look at this body 
how big this scandal is it did engulf all those scandals before and that is a very strong signal that the beers are in control of this market as you see here uh, we have this very long uh, body another uh, big body not as big as the one before we got a doji another uh, bearish candle with a large body and another doji and um, then a bearish candle but a little bit smaller body than this one so the this momentum is fading now as you see and then we got this spinning top uh, down here and uh, that gonna give you a very clear signal that the uh, beers uh, are not in control anymore and as you see start uh, the market start to go sideways uh, here um, somewhere in this area when you see uh, this one here this candle here um, another engulfing bullish candle uh, a strong one that engulf all the candles before uh, once again we look at the body of the candle here and you see that uh, the body of this candle engulf all those candles before um, that give you uh, a early warning that maybe the bulls are uh, getting in the market and uh, the next uh, two candles uh, this uh, hammer here and uh, this um, you see uh, this hammer here and uh, this candle here uh, show you that the bulls are really in control uh, for now and the market start heading up yeah uh, another good reason of a strong uh, bearish candle here as you see uh, this very large body candle uh, uh, as uh, we showed you at the start of this uh, video um, we have um, also um, those inverted hammer here two of them and when you got an inverted hammer at a level like this one uh, sorry for my drawing guys <laughs> when you got an inverted hammer at a level like this one uh, that can give you an early warning that the trend is ending now and uh, you just gonna wait to see uh, a confirmation of that is of course a close as it happens at this candle a close below the inverted hammer uh, gonna give you uh, a signal that uh, you can enter short at this market and uh, if you weren't already in this trade you could have uh, another uh, signal that uh, the bears are still in the market uh, by looking at uh, let me take off the lines uh, by looking at this uh, candle here as you see um, we had uh, a little bit of uh, down uh, downside here and then uh, price corrected to the upside and uh, we got this inverted hammer or um, shooting star in this case at the base of uh, this structure here which give you another signal that uh, the bears are still uh, in control of this market and of course when you start getting those bearish candles with uh, bigger bodies than the ones before uh, that will confirm to you that the trend is uh, go gonna go down as it happens here yeah uh, so uh, that was it for um, uh, this uh, sessions guys uh, I hope you uh, like it and I hope it gave you some more understanding uh, for the candlestick patterns uh, in the next uh, session we're gonna be talking about reversal patterns and uh, how to read them and how to uh, use them in your uh, trading so until next time uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video um, don't forget to hit the like buttons 
and uh, if you're not subscribed please do subscribe to the channel because uh, i'm gonna making uh, more videos and of course uh, my weekly live session where you can uh, join us and uh, have your plan ready for uh, the trading week uh, that's coming so thank you very much and uh, see you next time guys